modifying NURBS objects and we are going to use the create points rollout using the offset point tool. First, let's go up and create some sort of NURB surface. So I'm going to pick a point surface and I'll build a surface here. And now what I'd like to do is I want to go up to my modify tab in my command panel and you can see I have my NURB surface here. And so I'm going to pick on the NURB surface and down here in general I have create points. And so what I want to do is take a look at my points here and you can see my points are in green. All right, I have green points here, here, here. And so I'm going to come down here and say on my surface, I'm going to go down on my NURB surface, I'm going to go down to create points rollout. In the section where it has dependent points, we have offset point. I'm going to click on the offset point. Now, I'm going to go over and choose a point. Notice how I get a little asterisk and a triangle. I'm going to come and pick on an existing point. When I do, it turns to be a green asterisk. So, um, independent, uh, independent points use black triangles in the viewports. Independent point subobjects use green asterisks. So we're going to make an offset point that is a dependent subobject, and it lies at a particular distance from this parent point. So we're going to scroll down once we have selected the particular point and we're going to go to offset point rollout and we're going to key in the value of the offset. I'm going to go and stretch mine out in the X. I'm going to throw a large number in here like 30 and you can see now here is my offset point and it builds a red line in there to show the distance between the offset point and its parent. And at that point, I can right click and I have now created a dependent sub object here, a specified distance from its particular parent point, which was over here. So we have just created an offset point on a NURBS surface.